Hey everybody, so today we're going to be talking about ammonites and I am actually pretty excited about this video because not a lot of people take fossils and the energy of fossils very seriously and I think that's a mistake. So I kind of wanted to change it up a little um, instead of doing just a normal crystal video. I wanted to shift gears and do some fossils. So today we're going to be talking about ammonites. So ammonites, these guys, these little guys, well, they're not necessarily little, but these are very ancient prehistoric marine animals that live in the ocean. And it ranges, I mean, if you look online, you're going to see all different types of how old these are, but they're anywhere from 65 to 400 million, million years old, which is pretty crazy. And they're a type of mollusk and they're closely related to like a squid or more like a cuttlefish. If you know what a cuttlefish is, um, an octopus, they're in that kind of family. Uh, if you look them up online, they're pretty creepy looking, but <laughs> they're, they're pretty cool. So the, these things, I mean, do not think they, they're just like little tiny. I know I have some fossils here of this size, but these things can grow up to six plus feet in diameter. Imagine one of these six foot in diameter. I mean, it is massive. If you look online, you will see some uh, representations of them, like if you Google images. I actually have one in my other room. I, I don't think it'll even support the table I'm on. <laughs> so it is probably about a foot and a half in diameter, but it's not like super detailed like this. I got it a little cheaper. It's kind of worn down and it's smooth. It's still awesome and it's huge, but these things can get massive when they were alive. So there's some mega crisp, uh, mega fossils out there of these. So definitely check them out online and Google them. So these guys, there's so much I could talk about with ammonites, to be honest with you. You would think that fossils... Like I said, a lot of times people don't take their metaphysical properties seriously and, and they're, they're making a mistake. I would definitely, if you're, you're working with crystals on a regular basis and the energies of crystals, I would recommend also working with fossils as well because uh, same with meteorites. I mean, I'll, I'll get into all kinds of videos as the weeks progress, but fossils do not underestimate them. And I'm going to prove that today when I'm talking about ammonites. So let's talk about ammonites in the past, like uh, in history. So England, they used to call these snake stones. And you could kind of see why. If they would find one, it looks like a coiled snake turned to stone. And I forget what the story is when in England, they thought that there was some kind of curse with them or something. And they used to call them snake stones when they found them. And then they would like throw them into the ocean. But the main story with ammonites is when you're thinking ammonites, ammon, how did they get their name? Did you ever hear of Amun-Ra? Now Amun-Ra probably one of the more famous Egyptian deities. He also, in, what is it, Jupiter Amon was the name, I think, I believe, same deity. I believe all these deities are the same in different um, cultures. But Amun-Ra, also Jupiter Amon in Greek, they, the god, the deity, Amun-Ra supposedly had coiled ram's horns on his head. 
this looks just like a coiled ram's horn. So if you also look it up, check it out, don't take my word for it. Very cool history when you look at these going back that far. I mean, if you're going back to Amun-Ra, Amun, Ammonite, Ammonite, I mean, crazy. Crazy to think that they, they these things got their name from ancient Greek and Egyptian deities. Like, I don't know how many years ago, but many, many, many moons ago. So, really cool when you go back and look at it that. But yeah, he had curled ram's horns, and that looks just like a curled ram's horn, so that's kind of why they associated it with Amun-Ra. And look at the size of this sucker. Look at the beautiful spiral. And that's kind of what we're going to be talking about a little bit. So, again, just like crystals, each fossil, everything, it doesn't matter if it's a fossil, a piece of glass, whatever it is, everything operates on their own frequency. Everything vibrates at their own energy level. They each have their own frequency and vibration, everything, including fossils, not just crystals. So, and they have a unique energy. And crystals might have a unique energy of doing specific things within the energy body, stimulating the energy body in different ways. And that's what gives it the different effects it can cause and, and how it can affect your mood, behavior, your vitality, all those different things. Same with fossils. They can affect it, your energy body, in the same way. And I'm going to prove that to you shortly. So these are fantastic to work with. Fantastic. And I don't, price wise, I don't think they're too expensive. Maybe like 50 bucks, something like that around there. You could probably get smaller ones this size, like 30, uh, 20s. You could get little guys like this. This one isn't very detailed, but it's still cool. It might be like 10, 12 dollars or something like that. Um, if they polish them, you can get like an opalization on it where what I mean by that is kind of like this, how it's like opalized and iridescent looking. Very cool. Now, this is an actual fossil, like fossil, fossil with them all grouped together. And it's super detailed. I found this one at a rock show years ago and had to pick this one up because I love ammonites. Love them. So let's get back on track. What does this do for you with metaphysical properties and working with them? So number one, one thing it does is draw out negative energies. Now, think of this spiral like a filter. And it's going to just pull all the negative energy. And it's no longer useful. And it's going to re just releasing it as positive and loving energy, universal energy. These are ancient, deeply connected with the earth, deep, deep earth energy with ammonites, deep earth energy, which is when you're working with this, you're working with ancient, ancient energies, energy of eons of, of these being just soaked up by the universal energy just just amazing how much these things can do for you and i'm going to get into more so the first thing draws out all negative energies and a lot of people in different cultures even use ammonites to repel negative entities and supposedly you have an ammonite in your house or your room it will repel negative entities same with the negative energies you're working with. You have any type of negative energies. It's going to pull it out and almost kind of like a filter. It's going to convert it similar to like a smoky quartz. Smoky quartz is kind of like a filter like that. This is similar to that. And another great thing is it lifts the heaviness of the heart, so to speak. Sadness, that type of thing. Very effective. 
uh, drawing out all that negativity and converting it to a positive, loving energy. So that's right there, a big one, working with this. Now, this is definitely associated with the root chakra, which is at the base of your spine. And that's kind of your, the root chakra is your grounding, just deep earth energy. And working with this, you're looking for grounding, uh, stabilizing, and just really working with the root chakra with all those good grounding and just pushing away all the negative energy. So this is 100% connected with the root chakra. A lot of people also associate and use this with kundalini energy, like when you're bringing that energy up through the root chakra, through the spine, all the way to the crown. If this definitely helps with that, if you're on the path looking for uh, to move some kundalini energy, but that's more advanced stuff. So here's the fun one. And I'm like dying. I'm, I'm trying to get like, all right, it draws out negative energy and it kind of filters the negative energy and it repels the negative stuff. It, all that, this one is, I, I, I can't wait to get to this point because it's fun and it's awesome. And the reason I made this video is I actually intended to do a different video on a, on a crystal. And yesterday I wore my Ammonite necklace and I got this, I mean, it's, you know, it's a nice necklace. And every once in a while, I'll pop this on. And I usually take my necklace off at night. I forgot about it. And this is where the next thing comes into play. So, psychic visions. I'm telling you. This is what you need to try this for. Yeah, it's great for the negative energy. Either. Yeah, it's great for the to lift the heaviness and the heart and work with the root chakra and psychic visions, this is it. This is a great one. And it's so overlooked because it's not a crystal. Nobody is going to think to use this for psychic visions. And some of these visions, I don't even know what the heck they are, to be honest with you, even if I experienced them. But it's cool. It's crazy. And it's fun. And I, I really challenge you to, to try this. So the cool part is these things will give you crazy dreams. Definitely get yourself like some kind of dream interpreter. I know you could look it up on the web too, but you're going to need some type of interpretation when you have your vision or <laughs> and usually they might come to you in a snap while you're meditating with them. These are great for meditation, but if you wear this or sleep with it under your pillow, now I'm not saying you're going to put a massive ammonite under your pillow, but something like this or like the necklace I wore is enough to trigger it. And it usually happens kind of before you get up. In my opinion, it's like it soaks I've done this before a bunch of times. It's like it soaks up the energy all through the night or something. And when you get up in the morning, like right before you get up is kind of uh, those really vivid dreams. I mean, for me anyway, and you get blasted with all that imagery and you, you kind of wake up thinking, what is going on? Was that real? What? Like sometimes it's so vivid. Last night I had a crazy dream super, super vivid. And yes, you're going to need a dream interpreter guide or something because some of this stuff is off the wall. But if you can, do, if, if you can interpret some of this stuff, it's definitely going to be valuable. Now, if you're also meditating with it, not just sleeping, when you meditate and concentrate with it, you'll have flashes of of visions and it might not be as intense as when you're having in the dream state 
but you're also going to have intense visions. You're going to be like, what the heck was that? So I'm telling you, this stuff, these fossils, do not overlook them. Uh, just try them out yourself. You're going to have crazy dreams, crazy psychic visions. You're not going to know, so, like some of the stuff, you're going to be just blown away. And here is one of the cool things. If you don't want to take my word for it, which is fine, this in Greek, in Greece, was revered as one of the holiest stones in ancient Greece. Do you want to know why? Due to its potential to trigger prophetic visions. Yeah. An ammonite fossil. So this isn't just me. And they believe that sleeping with an ammonite under their pillow could help the dreamer predict the future. Look it up. And this it's crazy because, again, nobody's going to think of this when you have a fossil. Fossils, most people sit them on a shelf and they say, wow, look at how beautiful it is. This is 300 million years old. And that's it. They'll stick a label on it. You dust it every six months and you're done. No, 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 no. Start working with fossils. They have crazy energy. And I mean, Ammonite, it's like it connects you with a never-ending stream of consciousness. It just connects you to the source of everything. And again, meditate with it, work with it, sleep with it. Just try it. But you're going to see, you're going to have some crazy, crazy prophetic visions. And be blown away. So that's pretty much it about ammonites. Uh, I, again, one of my favorite fossils, uh, and I'll definitely be doing more videos on energies of fossils. There's tons of different fossils. This is probably one of my go-tos though, because of the crazy energy. And also you might be thinking, what is this here? Some people get mad at me about this, like if it's because I'm I paint some of them and sell them. So I think it's cool. A lot of times an ammonite is kind of boring. I mean, I think it's amazing no matter what. But I try to spice them up a little bit and I will paint them and they'll sell them different colors, different patterns. This one's all copper. Um I've done all different sizes and shapes and all kinds of stuff, but some people do get PO'd because it's something natural. I get it, but some of these are just kind of cool. Still doesn't affect its energy, but very cool. I think it's very cool anyway. So that is about it. Get some ammonite and work with it. Seriously awesome energies. Do not overlook it. Do not. All right. I will see you guys next week. Have a good one.